<laughs> team double. And team double as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the amount of times we've run through here and thought the other person was there is just ridiculous. Yeah, because I'll run over here because I want to tell her something and I'm just like, wait, that's not her. <laughs> oh, I, I've done that myself several times just <laughs> flying by and I'm like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it a, it's as close to the SF as I could get it. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. The yellow S? Yeah. Got it. From a distance back here, I thought it was a superhero. Yeah, it looks like cake. a superhero carrying a steak. Yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <That> <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to Suburbia Story. Hello. Hi. Welcome once again. This is the week three town hall meeting in which we're going to take a look at, at how the city has progressed, how the individuals and teams have progressed in terms of their population, their wealth, their buildings. And we're going to play a few games and have a, a joyous time. <laughs> so why don't we start? Why don't we start by taking a look at all of the improvements that were done during the week to the roads and uh, the school. Does anybody want to narrate what has been done with the roads? Person who did it. Housekeeper. Three thousand seven planetary. We replaced the roads. We made cars. <laughs> <laughs> I added bridges and stairways. <laughs> I really do. I love the choice of the texture because it. To me, this looks like the uh, tar-covered roadways that we have where I live in the US. I am not responsible for this alone. I had input from both Forks and Comsci Girl on this, and I had help from Comsci Girl in actually doing the renovation, so. Yeah, looks very nice. And and then there's this monstrosity over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will, I'll give somebody a hundred wealth if they put some clothes on this guy next week. <laughs> <laughs> this was how it was left on um, Realm Smellic. I, I know, I, I saw that 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 realm ended around Christmas and he was still in his uh, Halloween disguise and I've always regretted that that's what's in the final save file. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the school was open for renovations this week. Uh, looks like the exterior didn't get too much of a shape makeover. Uh, but it's we'll... mostly, I think. <laughs> Yeah, and and I think the interior has some really cool posed armor stands. You guys have must have killed a lot of squids. <laughs> <laughs> and salmon, yeah. And, salmon, yeah. <laughs> and fish. And a fish. Here's a sleeping kid. I I, I <laughs> resonate with this uh, this pose. That's awesome. Very, very nice. So thank you guys for improving your overall neighborhood. That will help property values immensely. Now, because we unlocked the school last week, we're going to start this week with uh, one of the things that you love to do, which is vote. And what we're going to start with is a vote for a, a new title. And the title is going to be the title of the headmaster. And again, you guys can modify that, but you get the idea. Uh, the headmaster is going to receive whatever's in this shulker box that I'm holding and the shulker box itself, as well as one population. And we will see who is awarded the headmaster. And you can get a title. Uh, if you're voted for a title and you already have a title, it's going to be up to you to choose which one you want. And then you will choose who you give your other title to. So this is same rule for the rest of the rest of the uh, competition. Okay. Fish first quid, rabbit. <laughs> first vote is Comp Sci Girl. So one for Comp Sci Girl. Second, Comp Sci Girl. Third, Comp Sci Girl. Fourth is CFG. So we've got one CFG, three for Comp Sci. Covolta. Another CFG vote. A fourth vote for CompSci and a fifth vote for CompSci. So CompSci, you are <laughs> majority winner. Here is your shulker box. 
All right, so that is the professor uh, of the school. The school is going to remain a public property. It does not count as an R or residential or commercial or industrial. Second thing uh, that you all worked on were your team-based renovations. And only because we're on this side of town, uh, we will st <laughs> start following the trail of potatoes to the bank. <laughs> Uh, so I'll, I will need a representative to tell us about the bank renovation. Uh, so this is the bank. Um, we tore down the old building completely and put up this new one. Um, so if you come in, you've got the teller here, ready to service your request with a smile. <laughs> We've got um, a vault downstairs for all of our secure storage. Um, no one will ever crack this code. It's impossible. <clears throat> And, and is it an actually working code? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Nobody look at what it is so you don't crack it. <laughs> yeah, you're not, <laughs> not supposed to look. <laughs> so um, these plots are being judged on form and function, just uh, FYI. Okay, and then uh, upstairs, there's a couple offices. Uh, and the first office here is the president's office. He's busy. Um, you know, <laughs> working on his tablet. Playing Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, and then the second office here for the uh, the other teller when he's doing paperwork. It's not here. And there's also a roof area where the president can go to relax. Well, how do you get? Okay. Uh, in the president's office. You can oh. stare at its wonderful mushroom garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very good. All right, your your score has been recorded. So we're going to head across town, and we will check out the second plot that was renovated. So this was the uh, Undertaker building. And... Uh, <laughs> We did a little bit of renovations. We tore down the whole building, just like they did with the bank, and built this tower in its place. It's called Stalver Tower. Okay. Uh, so if we go in, there's a reception area, um, and uh, back here there's a viewing area for the recently departed. So, th so this is like a a detective building? Uh, step in the casket. <laughs> oh! So it, oh, it, is, very cool. it is still kind of like a, an Undertaker funeral home kind of place, but okay. uh, there are some offices upstairs uh, that are trying to solve the mysteries of the realm, including perhaps why the people died. If we go downstairs, there is the morgue, where all the autopsies are done. Uh, Hawk appears to be doing one on that bunny right now. <laughs> oh um, my gosh, there's a giant saw blade. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got some some drawers for uh, keeping the bodies cold over here. Oh, that is enjoyable. <laughs> and, I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, for those that are being cremated, here's the furnace uh, with another bunny getting ready to be cremated there oh my gosh have, have you guys been killing a lot of bunnies uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> very interesting okay uh so then if we continue upstairs uh on the first floor we have the detective office of miscary investigations Uh, so here's where they would have their coffee. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, so many armor stands. That's bad. Is, <laughs> is a desk with a lamp and uh, a map with uh, some pins in it for all the clues that they're currently following. Holy cow, you guys. <laughs> Spent a Continuing. lot of time. Continuing upstairs, uh, there's some more kind of office area here for uh, anything else. Maybe some number crunching or 
anything else that's required to solve any mysteries. And then we can continue to the roof. There's a couple seating areas where people can think about the cases that they're working on. And uh, there's a little chimney here. Oh, I didn't see this either. A telescope to look at the town, maybe look for clues. I just paid a coin in here and I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then this over here is the clue signal to uh, signal to whoever the superhero of the town is to come and meet. A lot of very cool details in both. We've got another mystery. Who killed Hulk Miner? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have, I have looked at both of these uh, online and offline, and I did put together some rudimentary, rudimentary points for the function of each, as well as for form. Uh, I really liked the color palette on the bank overall. Uh, this this is obviously a more classical brick building-ish, but I'm kind of a sucker for the, the C blocks and the white. Looks really nice. In this one, uh, obviously like all the armor stands, I particularly like the basalt alternating floor, carpet-ish looking or tile-ish looking floor in the second layer. I haven't seen that before. Thought that looked really cool. So it was actually pretty tough because both are highly functional and both are highly cool to look at. But overall, I ended up choosing the Miskery building, uh, the Undertaker, or what was the Undertaker as the overall uh, choice for this week. And if you remember last week, uh, the, the other team, the MVPs, I believe they're calling themselves, <laughs> uh, they had the winning bid. And so the way it worked was that uh, you each put in a bid of how much the winning team would receive and how that would be split. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this case, the winning team is being awarded 400 wealth total, and it's being evenly split across the partners. So we'll be adding 100 wealth to each of the folks on the winning team. Okay, so I have added 100 wealth to each each of you. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, and now, uh, so there are two more titles to be awarded. One of them is the title of the banker, and one of them is the title of the undertaker. So my thought was the team that built this undertaker building will vote for somebody on the opposite team to be the banker, and the team that built the bank will vote for somebody on the opposite team to be the undertaker. And actually, uh, if you don't mind putting either undertaker or banker so I know which title you're voting for. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the banker just because I have that um, set of books first in my inventory. So I have one vote for Hawk Miner. One vote for Cold Fusion. Two votes for Cold Fusion. And the final vote, Cold Fusion Gaming. So Cold Fusion is going to have the banker title. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Cold Fusion. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> for the Undertaker. Uh, so again, these are the opposite teams voting for the role. I have one vote for Kavolta. I have a second vote for Kavolta. I have one vote for Kavolta, the Lord of the Undead. <laughs> 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 and it is it is a unanimous vote for Kavolta uh -huh. as the Undertaker. So congratulations. Thank you. Now, the next thing we're going to do is spring in sort of a new new part of the mechanic which is every week at this point you will earn some wealth based on the population that you have so the idea is these are folks either working in your industries selling things in your commercials or paying rent in your um, residences mm, that was a really good potato that i just ate I agree. Did you get it from CFG's potatoes? I did, in fact. 
get it from CFG's Potato Farm. That's wow, cool. CFG's <laughs> Potato Farm is a really great place to get potatoes. Yeah, I think so too. This sounds fake. Doesn't sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound authentic. If Unfortunately, you uh... through CFG, he gives you free potatoes too. Uh, okay, so now. Uh, we can do this up here. We'll go ahead and have some new population move in in the form of heads. Let's not peek in there, but we're gonna randomly come up and Hawk Miner, you're closest if you wanna go ahead and hop, stand in front of it and see who moves into your neighborhood first. It's a little spooky that this is happening at the morgue. Oh, <laughs> it did not, it did not uh, go on your head. I used the wrong thing again. Yeah, that's a dropper. Okay. Shadow <laughs> <laughs> Fire, you're the next closest to it. Go ahead and pick one. It's Technoscribe. Okay. Technoscribe was a member of the old server. Okay. Opus is uh, a uh, YouTube commenter. Uh, Compsci, do you want to go next? Whose head do you have? Is Cordy. that, that Cordy? Cordy. Another member. Right, right. Yeah. Server, map maker, etc. Uh, Kavolta looks. Oh, oh, Kavolta, I said your name first, yeah, and then Kaylin. Looney Nutty. Oh, the fun. Oh, boy. Looney Nutty was part of our server uh, at the end and also a longtime friend of the family. Kaylin has. Jeff. Jeff Yellow. Jeff Yellow, YouTube commenter. CFG already went, right? No. No. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Fungon. Fungon moves in. Uh, box. Fulratho. Fulratho, okay. Another YouTube commenter. I think Felina hiding at the back. You're next. If you would like to have someone move into your neighborhood, join Felonius. I got waffle. Unlikely waffle. Ooh. Does everyone have a head then? I think that's all. So this number that you see now is the number of population that is incoming based on all the activities of the past week. So Hawk Miner and Steto Fire each have six additional people moving in. kavolta has got five, Box, and the rest each have four. Okay, behind me, we have our laws. Does everyone have a block? Anyone missing a block? I did not get one. CFG. I did not get one. Because you're way over there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, I got two. It's sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the way we're going to do it this week, though, I've got five different things that you can vote for. And anyone that has three or more will pass. So the first law is a one-time tax which will open up additional plots that are not currently zoned or marked. Uh, these are not the black and yellow ones. What I mean is there will be completely new new plots available. Uh -huh. uh, the second one is opening up the power plant so you guys can go through and renovate, tear it down, reconvert it. The third one uh, is same as last week. Uh, the uh, It will actually have no impact on you if you don't have an animal pen in the city but if you do there's a 10 percent tax to keep your stinky animals in the city every week uh there's a one-time tax to expand the world border and then if you don't feel like voting for any of those you can abstain so go ahead and cast your anonymous votes and it takes <laughs> <laughs> Everyone must place a block somewhere. If you don't feel like placing it anywhere, if you should we, we get two again. blocks? We, because well, there's we, more we, we, this time. We we can't make a difference on anything. <laughs> well, if we if we work together, <laughs> we can we can almost do it. Every, <laughs> every vote every vote matters. Isn't that how the political systems work? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Only if oh, it happens right. at the same time. <laughs> yep. Which one do you want more, CFG? Um, uh, that one, this one, the other one. 
doesn't doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so um, at the end of this town hall meeting, I will open up some additional plot options, and we will expand the world border and and pay our taxes for both of those. 